Hello friends and fam, I'm the Xiac, and we are back with more Pokemon Shield, Isle of Armor, DLC, good stuff going on, where, boy howdy, it's been a few days of, uh, the grind. Uh, we ended up out here on Honeycomb Island to, uh, start shiny chaining, uh, Kobe, just for funsies, because I needed something to train up Mr., uh, Mr. Pumpkin on, so that's what we were playing on. Uh, I did find a few of the dittos already, mm -hmm. same kind of thing, just out in the middle. Um, there were 11 at first, so 10, 9, 8, 7, so, so okay, that's the fourth one that I found. Um, I mean, they're just lying around, they're just out <coughs> in the open. Uh, so we're gonna catch, track down the rest of these dittos here on Honeycomb Island. Real fast, hopefully, and then we're gonna um, and then we're gonna go see Master Mustard because okay. Pumpkin is level sixty-five now, and it was all through grind. I didn't give spam him with candies or any rare candies or experience candies, nothing like that. I wanted it to be very. Me me me. Uh, what's the term? I don't know, I wanted it to be very, very organic, and I mean, sure, typically it wouldn't be all at once like this, but we, we were grinding. I don't actually know if grinding on Pokemon, uh, is any different from just giving them candies, because for the first, like, 40 levels or so, he wasn't even battling, it was, you know, I did switch training for a, a decent part, and I did, uh, or left. Um, or we just, he, he was just second. I think up until, like, level 30, he was just in the party, and then I started switch training because it was taking too long. Uh, we were, so we were doing Daddy, our regular shiny Daddy. hunting. Daddy! Daddy, he's, he's out. He's not here right now. So we are doing regular shiny hunting, haven't gotten any more shinies from the team yet, although I have gotten a couple of... Uh, perfect IV, uh, brookies. No, but they're shiny yet. Baby. So, uh, but my shiny is, since I'm breeding for it, uh, my shiny is guaranteed to have at least five IVs, yeah. so my brookie is going to be real strong. Thumper, gonna be real strong. Let's just get it out there. There's only one more on the island. Huh. Are you kidding me? Did I miss one? On the little balls. I was trying not to have to. Maybe it's out here somewhere. This little shit took way longer to find than it ever should have. This should be the last one. Right? Okay, that's all the ones on Honeycomb Island. We're going to just fly back because otherwise I'm going to distract it. I'm just gonna get distracted. Y'all know how I do. Alright, so, here we are. There's Mr. Punky. You ready, Mr. Punky? Alright, first we're gonna heal. And then we're gonna go do some stuff. We're gonna talk to Mustard. I guess I'm just gonna stay in the Isle of Armor outfit while we're doing the storyline here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Hey mustard, must mustard, mustard. Hey mustard, must 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 mustard. Hey mustard. What's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Cub Fu are getting along. <laughs> Bear more. Bear more. What? Good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Cub Fu has really become more confident. How wonderful! I dare say I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. <laughs> I, I know that's not the voice that I gave him before, but I can't for the life of me figure out what it was. Huh? Dum dum dee, la la dee da, la da 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 huh? Phew, I guess this is as good a spot as any. Now then, Mori and Kung Fu, if you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Kung Fu. Prepare yourselves for the two towers of two fists. Okay. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters, where we will be headed. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. 
Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Kupfu's fight style will change depending on the tower you choose, and the types it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Kupfu properly before trying to climb up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. You might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting! So while I was doing my research on which Urshifu form I want to get, um, which is why I knew immediately that I'm going for water, um, do do do. Um, uh, it said that the recommended level. Oh, here it's a diglet. Was to have Cub Fu at level seventy. We're at sixty five, but I think it's probably fine. Let's just go. We'll collect diglet along uh, on on in the future. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah! There's fish in them, in them ah! rivers. There's some fish in that there river. Ah! Ooh, ah! What? What are you screaming for? Ooh. Hi, Diglett. I also got a bunch of regular, uh, like, Kanto region Pokemon for talking to the Diglett guy. So you are rewarded yeah! for Ooh, an item. A bottle of zinc. A nutritious drink for Pokemon. When consumed, it raises the special defense base points of a single Pokemon. And when sold, it gives you a pretty pen. For candy. Ooh. Wow. I mean, whatever. Yeah, I don't use any of the battle items and stuff. It's all very... Meh. Thanks for the watts. Clearly I need them. Ooh, TR-98, liquidation. Yeah. TMs are good money, too. And TRs. Alright, let's do it. Tower of Waters. Now, other than the end, um, because the website when I was looking up information on Urshifu, the ending was spoiled for me. I have no idea what's on the, like, the five floors. So. Hello, Mori. Master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a special training ground that only Kubfu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Kubfu is the only Pokemon on your team. Oh. Interesting. I knew that I, that, ha that that was the case for the end. I wasn't, I didn't realize that it was for the whole thing. But I guess it makes sense. Alright, Twig. Uh, you can come down here. That's fine. Alright, Punky. Safe. Hello. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a training ground where Kubfu will earn the true essence of water. If you've raised Kubfu to at least level 70, its training will go smoothly. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until you best five opponents, or are defeated yourself. What's more, the tower you didn't choose will be closed to you forever. Now, do you wish to forsake the path of darkness and follow the path of water? Yes, remember, there will be no turning back once you have made your choice. Are you sure you want to climb the Tower of Waters? I'm sure. I can tell your heart is set. Best of luck to you. I... Let's do this! Rain falls to become a river, and the river will eventually flow into the ocean. Such is the great cycle of water, it will swallow you whole. Oh. I think when we watched someone play, and I, I didn't watch all of it, um, but chat did, and the person that we watched play it, did um did the dark one because he thought it would be easier, and that might be the case. 
Ooh, yikes. Will I get healed between these battles? I wonder. Maybe we can be level 70 by the end of it. Be one. I have been swallowed whole by your great strength. That you have. Impressive. You can now proceed to the second floor. Did they heal me? No. Okay. I'm glad I checked. cup, water becomes round. In a square teapot, it becomes square. Water is adaptable, changing form to match the opponent. Prepare to drown in its power. Alright, who do we got now? Krabby? Thanks. They're all unevolved, aren't they? So we're fighting tight. So this is going to be the best bet. So we have sweet. We'll just hit him again. Wombus. I'm going to take on the next one without healing first. I didn't get- I did not get the chance to adapt. Impressive. You can now proceed to the third floor. There's no secrets, uh, secrets? Lame. Alright, lady, let's go. Raindrops may be small and weak on their own, but a torrent of rain can grind rocks to uh, bleh, dust. Do you have the willpower to withstand the relentless torrent of my raindrops? Or will you choke to death on your own saliva? <laughs> yeah, is that silly? Meryl? Yeah, Meryl! head on any of them. Well, are you having fun over there? And that's a level up. Each one of your raindrops hit like a hydro pump. Impressive. You can now proceed to the fourth floor. Think. Funky. Uh, just a regular potion. Or super potion, anyway. I think he'll be fine. He looks so angry. His noodle frowny face because he's a grumble voice. Water will freeze and harden when cold, or evaporate and fly through the sky when hot. Water changes its form and even its name on a whim. Can you contain it? <laughs> um, most things change form with temperature. It's okay. <laughs> so he's also fighting type. Um, is fighting super effective against itself? He's faster than me. Ooh. Ma. 
Alright, as long as he doesn't one hit me, we got this. Or, you know, take the rest of me in this next hit. Interesting. You'd think that he would be protect every other turn. Um to try to whittle me down. Good job, Punky. Your strength does not yield to cold or heat. I mean, your Pokemon didn't use cold or heat. He said you can now proceed to the top floor. He is waiting for you there. Which, I, I was going to say, uh, I wasn't sure if what I had been spoiled for was on the fifth floor or was after the fifth floor. And it sounds like it's... <sighs> this is going to be the hard part. I hope... I hope he's not level 70. That's going to be the problem. There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Waters, so I decided to wait for you here. Mori, Kupfu, you've both done well to get this far. But there! Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A strain too clear is avoided by fish. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of water. Yeah. Hiya! Dojo Master Mustard. Yeah, his cup food. <laughs> if his cup food is level 70, I'm screwed. I'll need to get serious if I am to take you on. Hone your senses now and let this battle sharpen you. Show me how you can grow. Hopefully he didn't keep, uh, Aerial Ace. Watch closely, Mori. This is what Kung Fu's fists are truly capable of. Fudge. I'm gonna have to heal every turn. If he uses, okay, I was like, if he uses Aerial Ace every turn, there's no way, I'm, like, I'm gonna have to either, no, nope, I'm not gonna heal every turn, I'm just gonna have to go through and grind up a little more, that's fine. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I could heal until he does something that does less than half, but what's the point? He's faster than me, so uh, we've got to go grind a little bit more. I hate that they're faster than me. Uh, we'll be back once we've ground up a few more levels. Alrighty, so we're back. And, uh, let's, let's go this again. So, healed up. Yeah, so we got to level 72. Um, yeah. I just sort of went through and I did one... One cycle of... I just emptied all his PP training on uh, Combi and then uh, any Chansey that popped up. So, it has been a, a, a hot minute since then, since I was recording, but that is because a certain adorable someone decided to unplug the switch which for some reason made obs crash so i had to stop recording and um when it didn't work for a minute i just decided to do something else and sometimes for whatever reason between i don't know if it's the tv or the switch or the uh, capture card 
but it kind of just wants to not work out very well. Um, like it needs time to cool off. So, what happens if I just try to run right past it? Gotcha. So we're just going to blast through all this, especially now that we can see what's super effective and whatever. Alright. And now, we can heal. Whoops. He's got the lucky egg on him. I wonder if I should give him a different item. Yeah. Not restore. <sighs> yes, this is really how I play. Yeah, Mom. Yeah, Mom. Yeah, okay. Bye, Titan. Okay, we don't need any of this. I don't need the sweets or the memories. Just in case it automatically assigns, like, the top one. Because, uh... I mean, it's a physical move, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. I was only gonna use one move the whole time anyway. Alright, Mustard. I'm back for more. So I decided to wait for a year. I doubt that. I'm sure he's at either one. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. Or I think I can handle it. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of water. Okay. Yeah. I'll need to get serious if I am to take you on. Hold your senses now and let this battle show me. Show me how you can grow. My bad. Aerial Ace is the one <laughs> Show me. Show me what Kupu's fists are capable of. I go first. Uh, uh, uh. That's a choice band. Nice. I wonder what would have happened if I had tried to use something else. You young folk grow so fast, it never ceases to amaze me. 14,000. <laughs> there we go. What a team. Impressive. Most impressive. Ha! Good job, Kaku. Uh, so precious. Uh, Thousand fist. Thousand punchies. Uh, He's such a precious sweetie. Punchy, 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 punchy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were worthy of my trust, Mori. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Kupu to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this trial, but he never made it to either tower. He got lost along the way. 
Now it is finally time for Kubfu to evolve. Go and show Kubfu the scroll of washers. Kubfu is ready now. <sighs> Come on, Kubfu! Come, come. Yes. I mean, I would love to keep them like that forever. Precious and tiny. I want ten more of them. Here, arm. Let me hear. Let's watch my little boy grow up. Go on, Punky. Can I stop it? No, so yeah, once you say yes, you can't stop it. I'm pressing B. Urshifu! Pumpkin evolved into Urshifu. He was cuter as a pumpkin. <coughs> the Wushu Pokemon, Rapid Strike style. This form of Urshifu is a strong believer in defeating the foes by raining many blows down on them. Its strikes are non stop, flowing like a river. <laughs> Surging strikes. Yes. So yeah, it's only 25. It hits three times, which brings it up to 75, which you think, like, eh, whatever. But it's always crits. So, I mean, that's severe. What's time and a half on 75? It's, like, over 100. 115? Ish. Um. Uh, normal isn't super effective against much of anything, so we'll get rid of that. Surging strikes. Yeah. Behold, before you stands Urshifu, sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter, shatter any blade turned against it, and it has mastered the style of water. The aqua. He looks like a, he looks like a uh, an otter in the face, like a big buff beefy otter. Ha! Huh, you've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think, not too long ago, you would have run and hid behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always joy, or always witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Mori or Shifu, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. Is he glowing? Why is he glowing? There's little... It doesn't matter. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. There's more for you to do. And learn and see. Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. To give me another one and let me do it dark style? Because I'll take ten. First of all, this lady. No. Never mind, you're not the lady I wanted. Huh? Ah. Oh! Hey, welcome back, Mori! Looks like you've been hard at work keeping up your training here at the dojo, eh? Uh, Hawk, what are you doing here? Surprise! And nicely done, Mori. That's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Isle of Armor to research more about the Dynamax phenomenon. So I hear you two are friends. How delightful. Poppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out on the Isle of Armor. But where's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling him he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it'd be loads easier than camping out for a long while. But wouldn't I be in the way? Everyone's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master Dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're the little brother of our Leon, after all. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Lee did train here when we were both kids. All right, then, Master Mustard. You've twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it, because I'm staying. Woohoo! The more the merrier. I'm pleased as punch and a gold-plated punch bowl. Which reminds me, Mori, I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Kubfu. Or really, it's evolution or Shifu. The truth is the lovable rascal is capable of gigantamaxing too. But it's a bit tricky because it really can't stand the taste of Max mushrooms. So Max soup is off the menu, unless you can make it more appealing to it. 
There's a certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor, though, that'll make even Urshiku gobble up a bowl of max soup. And that certain something is... That certain something is? That certain something. It's actually... The suspense here is killing me. Actually, I've forgotten what it is. Oopsie oopsie. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> You're even more fun to tease than your brother ever was. That certain something I'm thinking of is sure to make Max Soup more pal palatable to our Shifu. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Now I think I'll let the two of you figure out just what it is. Give it a good think together. You're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister, so get cracking. Is this, uh, how your training usually goes? I've really got no rapid action in this race, but even I'm pretty curious about that certain something. I think I read something about Urshifu in a book once, too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said it lives in the mountains in some far-off region. Does it really? Huh? You didn't know? Don't you have one, Maury? But yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Maury! Honey is made from this ne nectar of flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need nectar made by some Pokemon that look like flowers and plants. And if we're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, then I'd reckon there might be lots in a forest. I'll be able to look into Dynamaxing along the way, so count me in for some exploration. There's a forest past that big marshland, right? But I can still beat you there. Alright, friends and fam, that's going to be it for this episode. I should have cut it before going in, but that's okay. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know which form of Urshifu you went with, or if you even knew that I had different forms before going. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, Thank you again for sticking with us through this journey, uh, especially watching me trying to get in this bowl perfectly. And until next time, can I do it here? Until next time, peace.